Alright, so hi, I'm Derek Foldy. And I'm Corey Hughes. And today we're going to be talking to you about the second part of the Pathfinder tools in the Bezier FX. These tools are hard mix, soft mix, and trap. And I guess we'll start off with the hard mix. And let's go to the other video. Alright, well, first thing we're going to show you in the Pathfinder is the hard mix option. Uh, first, what you want to do is create your objects. The first one we're going to make, we're going to make a shape that is 100% cyan. So you can use the pen tool or um, shape tool, it doesn't really matter. We'll just use the pen tool in this example. And then we're setting that to 100% cyan. But I'm also going to reiterate that hard mix, what it does is it combines the highest value colors of the color components of each shape. But anyway, make our second shape and we'll make that 100% magenta. And we'll overlap that with the original shape. And finally, we'll make our third shape, which is going to be 100% yellow. And that will also overlap with the original shapes. Now what you want to do is group the objects together. That's the only way Pathfinder works if you group the shapes together. Alright, and then we go up to Effects. And then we go down to Pathfinder. Hard Mix. And as you can see, there we have our hard mix. Uh, for example, in the cyan and magenta area, the, they both had 100%, one had 100% cyan and the other had 100% magenta. When you add those together, you get a color that is 100% cyan and 100% magenta right in the area where they overlap. And that's a hard mix. Alright, next up is a soft mix, and we'll just use the same shapes. Uh, we'll just back out here and get our original shapes back. Uh, soft mix, what it does is it lowers the opacity of the overlapping shape, so you can see some of the color from the one underneath. Go to Effects, Pathfinder, uh, Soft Mix. You can uh, choose the mixing or the opacity level, I suppose, in the first option there, and you click OK. And there you go. You can see some of the color of the shape that's underneath the top layer. And that basically is a soft mix. Uh, it's also important to point out that if you ungroup the objects, the uh, effects will disappear from your shapes. And now we'll take a quick look at the trap effect and what it does. So with the trap effect, you want to select your still grouped objects, go to Effect, Pathfinder, and then select Trap. In here, you can select your trap settings. We kept them at 10, just so you could see how the objects overlap. Click OK, and now you'll be able to see your trap settings fully come into effect. Now, if we zoom in a little bit, there we go. you'll actually be able to see how the colors blend into each other. This happens so that if you have two colors side by side when printing, you run less of a chance of a misprint error. A misprint error would look like a gap between the colors. And so that concludes our section on the Pathfinder effect. Today, we should talk to you about the hard mix, which basically combines the highest color values of all the overlapping shapes. The soft mix, which makes, as, makes it as if the opacity is uh, turned down. And finally, we showed you trap, which blends the colors in the overlapping areas so that you don't get any weird print errors during the printing process. Yummy. And that basically wraps it up. See ya.